Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Sradhas Physics. This video is specially for the aspirants who are preparing for OSSTT, KVS, NDS, regular teacher or any graduate level teacher exam. So before solving some problems on your relative velocity, let me recall you that we have already studied that the, when the two cars are moving in the same direction, our relative velocity of car A with respect to B that is VA B equal to simply the VA minus VB. But when the two cars are moving in the opposite direction, simply we have to add this both VA plus VB. These are the basic formulas that we have to recall so that we can solve the basic questions. So let us take an example that is a ball A is dropped from a building of height 45 meter. Simultaneously another identical ball B is thrown up with a speed 50 meter per second. So the relative velocity of ball B with respect to ball A at any instant of time is. So you can see the ball A is it is falling in the downward direction. So since the earth is attracting every object towards itself. So acceleration due to gravity here G is taken positive. We know the formula V equal to U plus AT here U is given 0. Acceleration G is here positive. So simply V A that is the ball for ball A the velocity will be G T. This is the final velocity and for ball B the ball B is it is moving in the upward direction so that it is acting against the gravity that is G is here negative and initial velocity is 50 meter per second here. So as as you can see we can write V equal to U minus G T. So U is here 50 and G is negative since it is against the gravity that is 50 minus gt. So the relative velocity of ball A with respect to ball A equal to ball B with respect to A that is VB equal to simply it is in the opposite direction we have to add the both VB plus V that is VB is 50 minus gt and V is our gt so 50 minus gt plus gt they get cancelled the remaining is 50 meter per second. So this is the relative velocity of ball B with respect to ball A. Similarly, we can take another example that is a ball A is thrown vertically upward. A is thrown vertically upward with some speed u at the same instant another ball B is released from the rest. Since ball B is released from the rest, we can consider this as u equal to 0 here. At height h and at time t the speed A relative to B. So it is asking for B A B. So as you can see they are moving again in the opposite direction we can simply we have to add the both. So before calculating this let us take let us see ball A it is in the upward motion for time t. So in the for ball A so for ball A it is in the upward direction that is against the gravity. So we can consider here it has some initial velocity u. It has some initial velocity u. So this is our u minus gt against the gravity this is so this is our u minus gt this is for ball a and for ball b it is in the direction of your acceleration due to gravity is positive but it but here our initial velocity is 0 so u equal to 0 for ball b so vb equal to gt simply u is 0 so vb equal to gt so the relative velocity of ball a with respect to b equal to va plus vb since these are in the opposite direction so V A plus V B equal to V is U minus G T plus V B is G T. So G T G T get cancelled and the remaining is U. So you can see here when you are calculating in question 1 and question 2 these are the same type of question. You can sim simply see that the relative when the one is from the rest and another have some velocity or initial velocity you can say. So at that condition when you are asking for the relative velocity of ball A with respect to ball B or relative velocity of ball B with respect to A it will always remain the same that is the initial velocity of any of the body. Okay I think it is clear. The next question is there are two cars A and B running at velocities 60 km per hour and 45 km per hour. What is the relative velocity of car A with respect to car B? if both are moving eastward. So the both car A and B they are moving in the eastward direction. 
वन इज इन दिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड एनादर वन इज फोर्टी फाइव किलोमीटर पर आवर सो द रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी ऑफ कार ए विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू बी सो सिंस दे आर इन द सेम डिशन सिंपली वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट द सब्ट्रैक्ट देम दैट इज भि ए माइनस भि बी द फास्ट वन माइनस द सेकेंड वन भि ए माइनस भि बी सो ऑल दिज आर आवर वेक्टर क्वांटिटीज सो दिस इज सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर आवर माइनस फोर्टी फाइव दैट इज फिफ्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर इफ दिज आर द सेम क्वेश्चन बट वन इज मुविंग इन द ईस्टवर्ड डिशन एंड कार बी इज मुविंग इन द वेस्टवर्ड डिशन एंड देन इट इज आस्किंग फॉर द रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी सिंपली दे आर मुविंग इन द अपोजिट डिशन वन इज इन द ईस्टवर्ड डिशन अनदर वन इज इन द वेस्टवर्ड डिशन सो सिंपली वी हैव टू एड देम बोथ सो दिस इज सिंपली सिक्सटी प्लस फोर्टी फाइव दैट इज वन जीरो फाइव किलोमीटर पर आवर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए बार्ड इज टॉसिंग टॉसिंग मीन्स फ्लाइंग टू एंड फ्रो बिटवीन द टू कार्स मुविंग टुवर्ड्स इच अदर दे आर मुविंग टुवर्ड्स इच अदर वन कार हेज स्पीड ट्वेंटी सेवेन किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड एनादर वन इज एटीन किलोमीटर पर आवर द बार्ड स्टार्ट मुविंग फ्रॉम फास्ट कार टुवर्ड्स द अदर एंड इज मुविंग विद द स्पीड ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर पर आवर इट मीन्स द स्पीड ऑफ द बॉड इज थर्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर पर आवर वेन द टू कार्स वे सेपरेटेड बाई थर्टी सिक्स किलोमीटर देन द टोटल डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय द बार्ड इज सिंस दिस देर आर द टू कार्स ए एंड बी and they are moving in the opposite direction simply the relative velocity of car a with respect to b we can simply v a b equal to we can just add this to both that is 27 plus 18 that is 45 km per hour so the time taken by the two cars when so the distance between them it is given that they were sep- when the two cars are separated by the 36 km 36 km so at that time the time taken by the two cars to meet equal to the distance taken divided by its speed so distance is given 36 and the relative speed between the cars is 45 so that is 4 by 5 r so it is asking that the when the two cars were separated by 36 km then the total distance covered by the bird so what will be the total distance covered by the bird so the distance covered by the bird will be equal to the speed of the bird into the time taken so that will be equal to 36 km per hour that is the speed of the bird into the time so this time is when the two cars will meet so that is 4 by 5 power so this is 4 by 5 power so after calculating that will be 28.8 km similarly we can see another question a police van moving on a highway with a speed of 30 km per hour fires a bullet at a thief's car speeding away in the same direction with a speed of 192 km per hour if the muzzle speed of the bullet is 150 m per second with what speed does the bullet hit the thief's car so simply you have to first you have to first check what is it asking for that is the speed does the bullet hit the thief's car so it means that is the relative velocity of bullet bullet with respect to the thief that is suppose b b t is the bullet with respect to the thief b stands for bullet and t stands for thief's car okay so it is given that speed of the police van with respect to the ground ground means velocity of it is simply given so the police van is moving with a speed of 30 km per hour so 30 km per hour means the speed of the police van with respect to the ground so for ground g and vpg so vpg equal to 30 km per hour p for police van police or this g for ground so vpg that is 30 km per hour similarly for thief's car it is 192 km per hour so thief with respect to ground is 192 km per hour and the speed of the bullet with respect to the police van is given 150 m per second so this is 1 150 m per second we have to convert it in km per hour simply by multiplying 18 by 5 this is 540 km per hour so the speed of the bullet with respect to the thief's car will be so you can see so this is bt so bullet with respect to the thief's car so we can write this as bp plus pg again gt so bp means here bp what is bp that is bullet with respect to the police van so bp is 540 km per hour pg means 
and that is police with respect to the ground that is 30 minus why minus because it is here btg so thieves with respect to the ground but here bgt so that is minus 192 kilometer per hour so simply by calculating it is in 378 kilometer per hour since our answer is in meter per second so you have to simply multiply again by 5 by 18 so that it is 105 meter per second so this one is the very simple question i think you have to solve it by your own a boss is moving with a speed of 10 meter per second on a straight road a scooter is two wishes to overtake the boss in 100 second if the boss is at a distance of 1 km from the scooterist with what speed should the scooterist chase the boss okay you have to solve this by your own let us see another question which of the following displacement time graph of two objects a and b is moving with zero relative velocity so from these four options you can see in this in this graph particularly the slope of a and b the slope of a and b is same but here also you can say that the slope of a and b is same but the slope of a and b should not be zero so when the slope of a and b is zero it means that slope means here a displacement versus displacement by time it gives your velocity so here the when the when the graph a and b when this graph a and b have the same slope it means the relative velocity is zero so the velocity of a equal to velocity of b so when we are calculating when you are calculating b a b so the relative velocity of a with respect to b means b a minus b b so when these two are equal so b a equal to b b so b a minus b b simply gives you zero so that's why the answer is b so these are some questions related to relative velocity